These jars are full of life from all over Texas and Arkansas. I never open these jars, and yet life continues to live inside them. We call them ecospheres. Each one has its own video on my channel. Go check it out. And stay to the end to find out which ecosphere is going to die. This was the first ecosphere I made on this channel. It was made from a livestock pond in Texas three months ago. Ponds like this are full of life and the ecosphere is doing great. In this ecosphere, algae serves as the primary producer. This algae is growing very strong and there are all kinds of small things living in the jar. Let's go see what we can find. For this project, we partnered with Team Seas. We wanted to show what trash does as it sits in the ocean. So we filled this bottle with trash and seawater from the beach. Here's what it looked like before. Since then, everything in the jar has turned black. It is very much a disgusting mess. That same day, we made this ecosphere. It has to be my favorite. So much has happened in this ecosphere. When I first brought it home, not much was going on. But out of nowhere, these small snails started appearing. And then I noticed these small sea slugs called nudibranchs. This snail left eggs in incredible spiral shapes. Everything was perfect. And then this thing appeared. He came out of nowhere and ate everything inside the jar. And then he died. This ecosphere has a lot of small life but the algae has mostly taken over. I made this ecosphere in my most recent video. During that, we found a leech. I've been wondering if it's hungry. This is a wild mosquito fish I caught a few days ago. We'll see if she gets lucky. In the meantime, let's go check on some other ecospheres. The next ecosphere I made was from a small brook in the woods. Since making this ecosphere, the plants have gone crazy. Algae growing on the glass has darkened the jar, making it kind of hard to see. The ram's horn snail is still alive. I put him in the jar the day we made it. These plants are growing way above the water. I love how red this one is. I couldn't believe what I saw next. This small beetle has been living on top of the wood and now on the plants growing above the water. What a cool example of a self-sustaining ecosystem. This terrarium I made from native rocks and plants from the Ozark Mountains. All these mosses I found in the woods. I've recently noticed a bit of a mold problem, but as you can see, the springtails are already taking care of it. Springtails are small insects that eat mold and other decaying material. All the white ones are captive bred that I introduced. If you look to the middle of the screen, you'll see a dark gray springtail. This one is native to the Ozark Mountains. Springtails are the only inhabitants inside this terrarium. This was a fun project and I can't wait to see how it goes in the future. This ecosphere was made at a small pond. It is full of strange insect larvae and lots of snails. This is my first ecosphere to use floating plants like duckweed. I'm curious to see what impacts it has on the future of the jar. The coolest thing in the ecosphere has to be these eggs. If you look close enough, you can see their eyes. I have no idea what they will hatch to be, but if you can identify them, please let me know. Back to our fishy, it's been about 30 minutes and I noticed the leech and the fish were getting a little close. It looks like she's safe for now. I made this ecosphere in Cotter, Arkansas. It is jam-packed with plants and has a lot of life living inside. Several of the plants have grown out of the water. I think it's really cool when they do that. Let's see what we can find inside the ecosphere. If you're enjoying this update video, be sure to subscribe. We post videos just like this every week on our channel. The ecosphere used to have these really cool snails. Unfortunately, they all died. Here's what they used to look like. This ecosphere is going to die, and I thought this one was gonna die too, until I took a closer look with the microscope. Because there are so many plants, I think this one needs more light. I have a working theory. Both of these ecospheres were made at large rivers with a current. The ecospheres we make are stagnant. This simple change could throw the ecosystem out of balance but it's just a thought. This ecosphere is obviously not gonna make it, but maybe I can save some of the plants. As I lifted the plants out of the water, they turned to mush. I'm pretty sure this is not an aquatic plant, but one of those air plants. Oops. It's been two full days since we introduced our minnow, and she is still alive. We're gonna take her out and put her safely back into the quarantine tank. 
If you enjoyed this video, I know you'll like this one next.